Matt Whitaker to be involved in the rest of them. That's up to him. What a stupid question that is. <laughs> what a stupid question. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. <laughs> Emotional, damn it. <laughs> Wow. In case you don't know, Homegirl works for CNN, and Trump and CNN don't get along too well. Check this. This is the most epic moke shot in American history, dude. Yeah. Look how gang he looks. <laughs> He's like, you trying to take me down? <laughs> and this is epic because this is the first time in US presidential history that a president actually has a mug shot, dude. Wow. Why's your mail? I think, like, what's his name? I'm not a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. Like, Nixon, like, he was he got in some trouble, right? But uh -huh. he never got a mugshot. They might have snapped a picture, but they didn't put it and post it up for everyone to see. And the best part is, Trump puts it on his own Twitter, dog. He's like, <laughs> you see this? Look at me. <laughs> no, here's the thing that you have to understand about American culture. For us, especially, like, our generation, uh -huh. to get a mugshot is a badge of honor. James Brown, Justin Bieber, even Bruno Mars, they all have mugshots, and they hold it up. There's tons of celebrities who have gotten in trouble and the first thing they do is put up their mugshot it's like <laughs> hey look at me i'm a rock star i'm badass son wow so i know that the democrats and the government they're trying to shame him but trump's like oh no 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 <laughs> it's only been like what two days out like he's a he's pretty much leading for the republican nominee right he's 57 percent yeah i'm sure after this he might jump well over 60 bro as you know mr president caravan was not an invasion it's a group of migrants moving up from central america towards the border with the u.s thank you for telling and me why did you characterize it as such uh, because and I consider it an invasion you and I have a difference of opinion but do you think that you demonized immigrants in not this election no, to try to I want keep them I want them to come into the country but they have to come in legally you know they have to come in Jim through a process I want it to be a process and I want people to come in and we need the people your no campaign wait, your campaign wait, wait. You know why we're here? Because we have hundreds of companies moving in. We need the people. They're hundreds of miles away, though. They're hundreds and hundreds of you miles away. That, that's I not an invasion. Should, honestly, uh, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, let would me be ask, much if better. I, if I may okay, ask that's one. Emotional damage. <laughs> wow. And he just dismisses him. I have to say, his movements are like a black woman. He's like, you know what? I think you should let me run CNN. <laughs> so as you can see, CNN represents the extreme wokies, dog. Uh -huh. And we all know the history of CNN when it comes to fake news. And this is the thing is like CNN, along with the Democrats, they put this mugshot to try to smear him. And this mugshot came about because they are trying to indict him on 91 charges. Dude. Wow. That means if he actually gets convicted, he will spend 700 years in she jail. She now. Yes. Now you might be wondering, what exactly are they trying to charge him for? Well, we're not gonna go through all 91, but I can't give you that guy. My man has two felony counts, including one conspiracy count of obstructing an official proceeding. And he has one felony count of conspiracy to defraud the United States. And then the biggest one they're trying to get him on is conspiracy to deprive citizens of a right secured under federal law specifically the right to vote and to have one's vote counted so they're trying to say that he tried to influence the outcome of the election this is only a few of the 91 counts but here's the crazy part they are charging him and 18 other people under what's called the rico act wow okay the rico act is what they came up with in order to get the mafia dude let's say uh i call you on the phone i'm a gangster and we talk about some criminal activity that we're doing well they've got me on the phone they've got you on the phone if you call someone else and confirm what we're about to do then they can charge us under the rico act but with this they go even farther it's not just if you talk to someone on the phone it's if you receive any email or text message from someone directly related to this particular crime then you are charged on the rico act wow and the crazy part is the dude who cleaned up new york uh took down all the mobsters using the rico act is being charged <laughs> in this case rudy giuliani bro wow. yeah so they basically say that like, the government is a mafia <laughs> Yeah, they're saying they're saying you conspired to create a criminal organization to defraud and corrupt the American government. That's essentially what they're doing. I don't know. Hey, let's be clear. We are not for or against Trump or Biden, yo. We're apolitical. But it's in our best interest that they actually go to trial. Because yeah. <laughs> then we can keep covering this stuff, yo. I know Hillary met my campaign manager, and I got the chance to meet the people who are working so hard to get her elected. There they are, the heads of NBC, <laughs> CNN, CBS, ABC, there's the New York Times right over there. 
First of all, hello to Hongo in the back in the red dress, yo. Here in the Washington Post. They're working overtime. True. <laughs> True. That smirk is like, hey, I know this is a dinner, but I'm serious, yo. <laughs> That's her army right there. So unfortunately, he didn't show up to the debates, to the first Republican primary, because he didn't have to, right? Yeah. I mean, he's leading the polls by 57%. Yeah. So he's like, I'm out. I don't need y'all. <laughs> These guys actually thought, hey, we indict him, we get his mug shot, we post it everywhere, and everyone will start to dislike Trump, right? It'll hurt his credibility. No. Mmm. Actually, you're just turning him to a martyr, yo. Yeah. If you don't believe me, look at what they did before whenever they tried to call him a racist and try to say that he's anti-American. And then you look at the polls of the amount of people who actually support him, yo. But whenever he was running for president in 2016, 8% of African Americans supported Trump. Then when he ran again in 2020, 12% supported Trump. So it jumped 50%. And now they did another poll to see like, okay, after everything that's happened under Biden for the past two years, if Trump ran, would you guys vote for Trump? And 27% said they would vote for him in 2024, yo. So as you know, black people are only like 11% of the American population. When you say minorities and we talk about racism, you need to look at other ethnic groups, such as the Hispanics, right? And remember that was a big thing the news tried to say is, oh, because he said he was going to build the border wall. That's racist against Mexican people, right? Mexican American. Well, check this. When Trump ran for president in 2016 and his big campaign push was that he would build a wall, 27% of Hispanics supported him. And then in 2020, when he ran again, it jumped to 32%. It's Huntoy. Now, here's the crazy part. The two groups where you would think maybe would be even more because Trump is conservative, these two groups actually had little to no change. In 2016, the amount of Asian Americans who supported Trump was 29%. And in 2020, it only went up 1%. It went to 30%. Prepare for this. The only ethnic group we have left is white people. In 2016, 58% of whites supported Trump, but in 2020, it dropped to 57%, dude. Based on this, in theory, this mugshot should allow his numbers to shoot even higher, probably well over 60%, I would imagine. And the thing is, is like, well, the black folks, for us, is like, especially the hip hop community, is like, hey, look at the face, you can mugshot, and just a big gun gang out. Behind nigga. It's like, you're legit. I did a gangster. Yeah, and based on the videos you've seen, like, we only showed a little bit of how Trump, like, really just, like, calls people out, like, to their face. And there's tons of other videos and information about this, especially as it progresses, because they're wanting to send him to trial, like, in the next two months, yo. Yeah. So, if you would like us to do more videos on this, leave a comment down below, dog, because we can go all night long. How like our only fan? <laughs> He'd be like, listen to me, I have not only one fan, I have many fans. I have more fans. All the fans love me. It's true. <laughs>